the postfix calculator takes mathematical expressions in infix notation and then computes their results and returns its numerical value to the user. It is composed by three different parts. The first one is the expression translator. What it does is to convert from infix notation to postfix notation, which is easier for the computer to work with. We use two stacks for this, the main stack in blue and the auxiliary stack in yellow. We evaluate the expression from left to right. Numbers are directly moved onto the main stack, in this case a 3. Then we can find an operator, a plus sign, and as the auxiliary stack is empty, we map the plus to it. Then another number, a 4, and a multiplication operator. When there's already an operator on the stack, we check which one has higher precedence. In this case, the multiplication one has, so we put it on the auxiliary stack. Another number, and a division operator. We check precedence with the upper operator element on the stack, and if it has the same or higher precedence than it, we move the upper element from the auxiliary stack to the main one. In this case, division has the same precedence as multiplication, but sum has a lower one, so we keep it there and move the division operator to the auxiliary stack. Open end parentheses are directly moved to the auxiliary stack, and they can't be moved by anyone except for closing parentheses. When we find a closing parenthesis, we move all the elements of the auxiliary stack to the main stack until we find an open in parenthesis. Then we discard both parentheses. Finally, when there are no elements left in our infix notation expression, we move all the remaining elements from the auxiliary stack to the main stack. And voila, we have our postfix notation expression, which is later used by the following module, the postfix machine. This is the one that actually does the calculations. It is based on a queue containing the previously translated expression and a stack which is used as an operation stack. It works in a really simple way. Elements are extracted from the queue. If they are numbers, they are directly added to the operation stack, and if they are operators, their operation is performed with one or two of the numbers on the top of the stack, depending on the operation. Those two elements are then removed and the result of the operations is have on the top of the stack. In the case of division and subtraction, the order actually matters. So, the first operand is the one that is deeper on the stack. When all the operations are finished, there should be just one element on the stack. That element is the result of the operations. Finally, the math operations class is the one that implements the different operations the calculator can do. There are two kinds of operators. First, the most common ones are the ones who require two arguments. Those are adding with a plus sign, subtracting with a minus sign, multiplying with a star sign and dividing with a slash. They rely on the Java operators for the calculations. Finally, there are three unary methods that only require one operand. Those are FIBO, which given a number returns the number on that position on the Fibonacci series, FACT, which returns the factorial of a given number, and Hanoi, which returns the minimum number of movements to solve a Hanoi Towers puzzle with that number of pieces. FIBO and FACT are implemented on a recursive way, and Hanoi is implemented by using a simple formula 2 to the power of n minus 1. And that is the end of the project. Thanks for watching.